Designed to serve as a replacement for the century-old Oberth class, the Nova-class short-range science vessel is a sleek and versatile starship, able to carry out a wide range of scientific and humanitarian duties across limited-duration missions, either in support of a larger flotilla or operating unassisted within the recovery range of a Federation starbase or installation. At a length of 165 meters and a width of 81.2 meters, the compact and efficient profile of the Nova class was originally conceived by Starfleet as a concept space frame for the Defiant class escort, but was later repurposed into a science vessel after the final design for the Defiant was selected. The Nova carries a small crew of only 80 individuals, many of whom make up a substantial science and research department. The vessel normally maintains a cruising speed of only warp 6, with most of its mission time spent at sublight speeds, performing system and planetary surveys. Though not designed to engage in combat unassisted, the Nova class is not incapable of defending itself. The ship carries 11 Type 10 phaser arrays, as well as a pair of photon torpedo launchers, and is able to take advantage of its impressive impulse acceleration and maneuverability to outturn and evade most purpose-built warships. However, the vessel carries only moderate strength deflector shields and is not equipped with ablative armor, and is therefore unlikely to survive when faced with numerous opponents or caught off guard and unable to evade. The Nova class was designed to specialize in planetary surveys and is therefore capable of advanced atmospheric maneuvering as well as full planetary landings by means of reinforced landing legs and structural integrity fields. The Nova also carries a small complement of conventional shuttlecraft as well as a larger and more advanced Wave Rider class atmospheric survey shuttle stored in an external docking berth beneath the Nova's saucer section. Easily the most well-known vessel of the Nova class was the USS Equinox, NCC-72381, though the reasons for this fame are somewhat ignominious. Having been trapped in the Delta Quadrant by the same caretaker being that would later be encountered by the USS Voyager, the Equinox, under the command of Captain Rudolf Ransom, found itself completely unable to survive as a result of its short-range mission profile. After losing half of his crew in combat with local hostiles, Captain Ransom attempted to resupply his ship with food and dilithium in a peaceful system where he discovered an unaggressive nucleogenic life form that could be summoned at will using certain technological signals. It was determined that if these life forms were to be killed and their bodies broken down, they could be used as a highly efficient fuel to increase the power of the Equinox's warp drive and make a return to the Alpha Quadrant into a realistic prospect. In direct violation of the Prime Directive and several articles of the Federation Charter, Captain Ransom authorized the mass killing and processing of these life forms, a practice he and his crew maintained for several years. Eventually, the Equinox encountered the USS Voyager deeper in the Delta Quadrant, whereupon Captain Catherine Janeway discovered Ransom's actions and attempted to take his ship and crew into custody. Meeting resistance, Janeway was ultimately forced to destroy the Equinox with Captain Ransom aboard, though several members of his crew were recovered and absorbed into Voyager's complement until they could be returned to Federation space and placed on trial for their actions. The Nova class remained in service with Starfleet for several decades, and even spawned a refit vessel in the form of the Rhode Island class, which was commissioned in the early 25th century. The Rhode Island featured several small changes to its space frame, including a smaller secondary deflector and reinforced Bussard collectors. Across its service, the Nova proved beyond reasonable doubt that Starfleet had indeed found a suitable successor to the Oberth class, with the ship serving proudly as the Federation's foremost short-range scout and survey craft for many years. Thank you for watching Space Doc. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please do check out the links on the screen right now or in the description below for our Patreon and channel membership services. Anything you can pledge goes towards improving our team and our equipment and allowing us to put together bigger and more exciting video projects for you guys on the channel.